Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I know, literally posting this the last day of June, bring back my bar for Scentsy, better late than never, but full disclosure, I didn't have really any desire to order the Bring Back My Bars, and as you know, I am a Scentsy consultant, I'll leave my link down below, but as you also know, Sensi didn't really work that well in my old apartment. I had huge vaulted ceilings and it really didn't work out that way for me. And it made me really sad, but in my new apartment, for one, I love home decor. The warmers are absolutely beautiful. And I have some older Scentsy bars that I've been working through and they're really performing well. One, two, sometimes even three days in certain rooms of my new place. I'm really getting good luck with them and I'm just really, really excited. And after all the hype over these Bring Back My Bars, I had to place an order. Now, they did take a trip around the world on the FedEx truck. If you know Scentsy, you know that FedEx they're notorious for not getting your packages on time. At least I've had that experience, and I know a lot of others have had that experience as well. But anyway, they're here. I did not get all the Bring Back My Bars. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine that I think are ones that I really like. And I know this video is up today, and you don't have much time, but. If you still are interested in any of these scents, I'll leave my link down below. You can purchase a 12 pack of the Bring Back My Bars for $50, add them to your Scentsy Club. Scentsy Club is an awesome program where once the scent's gone and you can't get it again, Scentsy will keep making it for you. I'm going to be doing a lot more Scentsy videos because like I said, I ordered a lot of new warmers. I have a new desert warmer back here. You can't really see it. I'm going to rearrange this. Anyway, but I really want to get this video out. I really want to give these some first sniffs. I did add all of these to my club. My club doesn't process till next month, so I'll be able to see how they work in my home before adding them completely to my club and submitting them. But without further ado, let's get into it. First up is not a Bring Back My Bar. It is actually the scent of the month for June, and it is Red, White, and Berry Pie. I picked up two of these because I heard a lot of people say they absolutely loved it. If you love bakery, you have to try this. Now, it is Cherry and Raspberry Pie, which, if you know me, you know I'm not a huge fan of ras or of cherry, but People say it's really good, so I decided to try it. I automatically added it to my club, just in case I loved it and was afraid I wasn't going to get it again. And I love this on cold. You definitely get the cherry and the raspberry, but they're very much a baked cherry and raspberry. It does not come off medicinal, which I love because, let me tell you, I don't love when something smells medicinal. This definitely does not smell medicinal cherry, and you get the tiniest bit of pie crust. Definitely not strong, definitely more of a crumbly pie, like almost like, almost like you're getting a fruit crumble versus a fruit pie. Yeah, I really, really like this one, and this is 10% off for the month of, Ju of June. I know it's almost over, but again, I added it to my club because I really, really like it. I'm excited to see how it is warming, and I might do like a club video with you guys coming up, but I do add two bars typically to my Scentsy Club of a scent because that way, if I want to just do it in one room, I can do that, but if I want to do it in my living room, dining room, kitchen, I have multiples, and it's just nice to have more in your club. Like I said, two is typically the standard that I add to my club. All right, let's dive in to these Bring Back My Bars. Now I did do really quick sniffs of these while when they came in, but I want to do like a deep dive sniff with you guys. All right, first up, Root Beer Float. Now I feel like since I got nine, you can probably figure out which nine I got based on the sense that I love and like my channel and who I am as a person. So. Root Beer Float. I heard so many people talk about this one. Now I will say, now all these are in my club. 
Two of each. I only ordered one of each now, but I have two of each coming in my club. This is very interesting. I was watching Patricia Gates this morning, and she said, this smells like the ice cream man ran out of ice cream making your root beer float. Totally. It definitely smells like effervescent, rich, frothy root beer. I definitely don't get any vanilla ice cream in this whatsoever, but I almost get a little bit of spice in the end, almost like a cinnamon or a nutmeg mixed with that root beer. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's very interesting. I definitely enjoy it. I like a root beer scent, so I'm excited to try that one on warm. My cats are like having a field day. All right, next, the infamous cotton candy cookie. Now, cotton candy cookie, I don't know why my cats are like freaking out today, but cotton candy cookie, everybody raves about, and on first sniff, it was just okay to me. It's still just okay. Like, it definitely is like a sweet, sugary cookie, but I, I feel like I pick up on the cotton candy is the sugar, but I don't know. It almost is like the sugar cookie is a little bit too rich. I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely super sweet. Yeah, I'm not 100% sold on it yet. I do know that people who have this absolutely love it or hate it. So, I'm not sure. I'm going to warm it. It, it might stay in my club, it might go. Up next we have Summer Rain. Now, if you are a fan of Thunderstorm or any of those aquatic, more um, nature-esque fragrances, I feel like this is definitely one that you've tried. I did enjoy Thunderstorm, but I did feel it leaned a little towards cologne or masculine. So, I was excited to try Summer Rain. It's definitely more sweet and green water, if that makes any sense. I, I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting from it. Definitely not this, though. I think I just have Thunderstorm in my mind, where, like I said, it's much more deep and rich, where the summer rain is much lighter. And like I said, it almost has like the green ozonic notes to it. I really enjoy it. And... Whenever it's raining out, I want nothing more than a scent like this in my warmers. So I'm excited to try this on the next rainy day. It's staying in my club until I melt it and see. Because this would be one that would be nice to have a pile of on those unexpected rainy days. Next we have Caramel Vanilla Delight. I know a lot of people like this one, and I feel like I have the same like thoughts in my head when I'm smelling these that other people do, and I'm like, no, I need to be fresh, but it's too late now. This is interesting. I don't know why, but when I think of this, I almost automatically think salted caramel, and I know it's not salted caramel at all. It's definitely more creamy caramel, very rich almost runny caramel, like a like a very butter heavy, almost, if you guys are fans of QVC, you know Mrs. Prendable's apples, those really thick caramel apples that are made in homemade copper kettles. I feel like this is the caramel that those caramel apples are. There's no chocolate, there's no apple, there's no salt. It's strictly a very rich buttery caramel. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that in the warmer, but people absolutely rave about it, so I'm excited to try them. Now, the next one, I definitely know I have had as a, as a bar when it was in the regular catalog years ago, but I'm excited to get my sniffer on this again, and this is Lemon Coconut Chiffon. I'm not a huge coconut fan. I love from Destination Wax the lemon chiffon cake, and I know I've gotten a lot of messages. How does it compare? Well, I'm here to tell you they're two totally different scents. To me, the Destination Wax is more of like a coffee cake, not coffee, but the actual like cinnamon strudel coffee cake with lots of lemon. This is more of a super rich butter cake 
with lemon. You definitely pick up on the buttery note, but not like clarified butter. Like, since I've talked about in the past, definitely more of a rich butter cake with lemon. As far as coconut goes, I don't really detect coconut. It kind of just makes it a little bit creamier. Yeah, but I definitely am excited to melt this one because on cold, I absolutely love it. Now this one, very interesting. Buckleberry. I know that my friend Natalie melted this the other day and was like, Drew, it smells just like breakfast in bed when you're warming it. And in the consultant Facebook group that I'm in, I saw someone else say that too. So I was like, interesting, because breakfast in bed is not in my Scentsy Club, and I'm heartbroken it's not coming back this year. So, Buckleberry, let's see. On cold, it definitely does not smell like breakfast in bed. But, to me, now this might instantly turn you off of this scent, but to me and my nose, it smells like you're in Michael's, and you're smelling one of those reeds, like those spice reeds, but it's loaded with berries. Real berries, not plastic berries. So, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Wow. Like I said, my throat. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. But, when you warm it, apparently it changes, and it's in my club. So I'll let you know. All right, we're down to the final three. The next one we have is French toast. Now, I've been watching some videos, and I heard someone say, this smells like curry, like Indian food. And I'm like, French toast? But then I also heard people say, it's very egg battery. So I'm like, very interesting. And I know egg batter is like in the notes. It's very different. I definitely would never smell this without reading it and be like, oh, that smells like French toast. No. I almost feel like I can see the egg batter for sure. Like a very custardy type of fragrance with cinnamon. Almost like if you're making French toast batter and you add a lot of cinnamon and sugar with the beaten egg. I don't get any like yeastiness from the bread or anything. So I'm like 50-50 on how I feel about this. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Especially I love bakery, so I'm not sure exactly how I feel on this one. However, someone else told me today, Natalie told me that she saw someone, I can't remember who, a cube and a cube mixed with blueberry pancakes. Now this one I've heard lots of different things on and okay hear me out I haven't seen anybody who I've watched personally say this but it kind of smells like a gusher like a fruit gusher but again both of these kind of lack the like French toast, I don't smell any bread. Pancakes, I don't really smell any pancake, like any cakiness or baked or anything like that. So I'm not sure where that's coming from. But, yeah, I don't know. I get like a fruit gusher mixed with a spice, like a hint, just a hint of spice. I'm not sure. Definitely have to warm these guys, but I wanted to film this in case you did not pick up any Bring Back My Bars. I wanted to hear my thoughts on them, so I definitely want to talk about them. And then last, but not least, the most controversial bar, I think, in, like, Scentsy history, Very Perry Pumpkin. Now, we all know Lisa Roberry absolutely loves this scent, and from what I've watched, the majority don't. But they also did not like pumpkin marshmallow for the most part. I loved pumpkin marshmallow. It's the only pumpkin fragrance I've ever smelled that smells like a true, you're sticking your hand into a pumpkin and ripping out the pumpkin guts. So I wanted to try this and see how they compare. 
I love this, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Add it to your club. Order some if you didn't. I am going right on after this video and ordering a six pack and adding it to my club. I don't necessarily pick up pear, but I smell those pumpkin guts. I smell the richness. There's no spice. So when you're thinking like pumpkin, you think of like pumpkin spice, pumpkin, anything like that. No, this is straight up like you stuck your hand in a pumpkin and you took the guts out. It's definitely not as powerful or strong as pumpkin marshmallow. I like pumpkin marshmallow more. I canceled my club a couple months ago because I just was way overwhelmed. I, sweet plum pastry's gone, almond croissant's gone, and I don't want to talk about it. It was a dark time for me and I just didn't order from Sensi for a while and canceled my club and I'm regretting every minute of it, but Very Prairie Pumpkin is going in my club until Pumpkin Marshmallow comes back. This will probably get the boot, but for now, it has that pumpkin gut scent that I absolutely love. Ha! <sighs> is it fall yet? All right, that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I will leave my link to my website down below, as well as a link to the 12 pack bundle. If you guys wanted to pick up some Bring Back My Bars for yourself, it's 12 bars for $50 plus shipping and it's a great deal. I think you save like 10 or $12 for it. It's definitely a good deal if you want to pick up some Bring Back My Bars. Again, it ends today, June 30th. Sorry it's coming out late, but before I end my video, you guys already know, and it is the last day of Pride Month, and I am gay. I am part of the LGBT community. I am not an agenda, and my love is not a sin. I don't need saved. I love myself, I love others, and I'm proud of who I love. So I'm going to keep being me. I don't need support from people who don't believe in me or believe that my lifestyle is wrong. And that's, I was born this way. So thank you all so much for supporting me and for loving me for who I am, and I love you for who you are. And if you don't believe that, that's fine. Please don't watch me because I'm going to keep sharing who I love with the people I love doing what I love. Have a great day, guys. You matter. We'll talk to you soon. Be kind.